okay so in the last video we have seen the delta formats okay because we were not able to run the bucket by but now we are able to run the bucket by uh, with the, let's say uh, three buckets or the ten buckets okay that's up to you but what my eq is doing is it is not uh, converting into the bucket by okay when i'm reduced when i am when i'll um, uh, put the eq is as false okay then only it will be able to bucket by okay so let's look at this one so with this all the jobs it is reading the data because we have um, used the right function okay so that's why we have multiple jobs created and they are doing the bucket by simple okay and now when i'm reading that table which we have bucketed and i'm joining the two tables now let's see what happened okay so initially we need to go to the uh, we need to see two things okay let's go to the job first okay if you want to see how it process the data so look at the 32 and 33 okay this is 32 and 33 okay and uh, if we scroll to the right we will going to see it read the 8 by 8 uh, partitions and it pushed the it read and it read and it wrote okay in collected mode it uh, it read 8 cross 8 or 8 partitions okay so it created the 8 partition it read the 8 partition and the output was the 8 partition only okay so if let's see what happened here okay because we have two data sets which is getting combined okay because we are calling the collect method so that's why and if i look at uh, this 32 job okay let's click on this one and 33 job as well okay so you can see that on 30 um, the, on the 30 second job it has tried to do the exchange exchange in the so eight partition will go on going to be exchanged okay or shuffled and if i click on this stage so i can see the eight uh, partitions there okay and uh, eight partitions there let's see and what is the size of that partition that we are going to see here okay so this is the maximum <coughs> yeah so these are the size of the data that has been um, separated okay and based on this I, um, number of files and the each size each file size is around 1.9 mb or 1.7 mb okay out of this eight eight partitions okay on the other job which is 32nd job okay 33 which is 33 now you can see that <coughs> from this one this exchange has been read okay on to the 49th job because eight partition were read again okay so these are the eight partition that has been read and uh, and combined it into the 13.1 mb file okay <coughs> because the join happened there okay so eight partition data combined okay um, read by the exchange uh, from, i mean the exchange happened uh, in that sense the data from the driver sent to, to the worker node and on the same node we have the other data set data which is data 2 ok so data set 1 and data set 2 bucket data is already there on the same node and that's why it has split into the 8 partitions and they have grouped the data together ok and output was the this file 13.1 mb so I mean where do we have to start we have to start with the SQL data frame to understand what happened with the data okay so as you can see we have this 32 and 33 job id so i click on this one okay so yeah 
so this is the structure for the AQE that happened and uh, so AQ is enabled that's why so it scanned the first bucket it is scanned the second bucket let's see what was the, what was the size of the data okay size was 5.2 MB and for the other one the size was 7.9 MB with this much of data okay 4 470k and on the first data bucket the size was 5 point something okay 5.2 MB and data was approximately same 470k okay now the uh, column and R2 row column happened so all column convert into the row then filter applied based on the ID so ID should not be null and then the exchange happened exchange happened of the flight 1 flight data 1 data okay in the exchange you can see as we have seen in the job as well uh, 13.1 MB got uh, number of partition I mean one partition was created out uh, for this 13.1 MB of data and uh, so I'll show you I mean in the previous uh, way we have seen that eight partition were created and each partition have different uh, this different uh, um, different IDs okay it partition with different IDs uh, and with different size as well now it is exchanging into so it is sending it to the other node with the number of partition as one and the total size of data is 13.1 MB okay what dot 1 MB in uh, 470 and uh, um, data size total is 64 MB okay so that means around uh, if you look at that uh, around seven cores it has been sent the data to the seven cores so 13 into 7 will come across or 13 into 6 will come come across 64.5 mb of data so this is the total size okay and uh, local byte read okay so 13 mb 5 for each okay so each means certain about that I mean um, there may be seven part six uh, five to six partition okay of 13 MBs and that has been sent across to the broadcast has joined and the broadcast has joined okay what it will doing and do is it will split the data okay um, it will just combine the data because the number of partition is one this is uh, submitting the whole data into the uh, worker node okay of 64.5 64.5 MB of data sorry uh, mistakenly so 64.5 MB of data will be transferred to the other node and each partition size was 13.1 13 13 MB of this particular size okay so only one has been transferred which is of 64.5 MB now the uh, because the data can fit to the memory so that's why the broadcast happened and now they can join the data and once it's joined we are getting this 470 477 rows okay combined data so if we look at the physical plan as well uh, for the first data set uh, scanning filtering and exchange has happened and then the broadcast join Okay.